Welcome back to BKS Iyengar's Light on Yoga Pose by Pose, explained by a yoga teacher who isn't an Iyengar teacher. <laughs> Today we're going to tackle two poses in one video because we are doing Dhanurasana, which is bow pose, but then we're also going to do Parsva Dhanurasana, which is sideways. So Parsva means sideways, Danu means bow. So Dhanurasana, Danu means a bow. The hands are used like a bowstring to pull the head, trunk, and legs up, and the posture resembles a bent bow. Sort of. <laughs> and then Dhanurasana, Parsva Dhanurasana, Parsva means sideways. In this variation of Dhanurasana, one performs the posture lying on one side. So I didn't think we needed a whole separate video for just doing the same pose, but on the side. Let's read through and see. So I'll tell you right now, looking at this photo, my legs, I just do not think will lift that far off the floor. <laughs> there are different variations that you can do of bow pose. I can talk a little bit more about them because the variation I learned in power yoga is definitely different than this variation. But we'll get to that in a minute. Dhanurasana and Parsva Dhanurasana are only four stars difficulty level out of 60, which as always I disagree with. I think it's pretty hard because you need flexibility, but also a lot of strength and core strength and leg and arm strength. Lie full length on the floor on the stomach face downwards. Exhale and bend the knees. So he doesn't say yet at least if the knees should be together or hips width distance or what. Stretch the arms back and hold the left ankle with the left hand and the right ankle with the right hand. Take two breaths. He also doesn't say if you should hold from the outside or the inside of the an ankle, but luckily in the photo we can see that he's holding from the outside of the ankle. Exhale and completely pull the legs up by raising the knees above the floor and simultaneously lift the chest off the floor. The arms and hands act like a bowstring to tauten the body like a bent bow. Lift up the head and pull it as far back as possible. Do not rest either the ribs or the pelvic bones on the floor, only the abdomen, so like we talked about for locus, the soft part of your belly, bears the weight of the body on the floor. While raising the legs, do not join them at the knees, for then the legs will not be lifted high enough. After the full stretch upwards has been achieved, join together the thighs, the knees, and the ankles. So he's saying keep your legs apart to get your legs really high and then once you're up high you can bring your legs together. I'm going to say right now that a lot of people would feel a pinching in their low back if they put their legs together. So you don't necessarily have to do that if you start to feel a pinch or a painful sensation. You can just leave your legs open until that becomes more comfortable. Since the abdomen is extended, the breathing will be fast, but do not worry about it. Stay in the pose to your capacity from 20 seconds to one minute. Then with an exhalation, release the ankles, stretch the legs straight, Bring the head and the legs back to the floor and relax. So belly down Shavasana, which usually it's more comfortable to put one cheek or side of the face down rather than just your forehead down, but either is fine. Let's talk about the effects of Dhanurasana. In this posture, the spine is stretched back. Elderly people do not normally do this, so their spines get rigid. I will also add that we normally do the opposite of this by sitting at the computer all day or in front of our phones like this, arching forward. So this is a really good one to counter all of that. This asana brings back elasticity to the spine and tones the abdominal organs. In my experience, persons suffering from slipped discs, seems to be a lot of slipped discs, <laughs> have obtained relief by the regular practice of Dhanurasana and Salabhasana without being forced to rest or to undergo surgical treatment. And so that's Dhanurasana, and let's go straight into Parsva Dhanurasana or side Dhanurasana. It's just the same thing, but you lay on your side. So the technique, the first step is perform Dhanurasana, which is what we just went through. Exhale, roll over to the right side and stretch the legs and chest. On an inhale, you roll up back to your regular Dhanurasana and on an exhale, you roll, roll over to your opposite side. Stay on either side for the same length of time according to your capacity with normal breathing. Inhale, come back to Dhanurasana, release the legs and relax. In this pose, which is, more, is a more strenuous version of the earlier one, the ankles are inclined to slip from the hand grip. Therefore, grip the ankles more firmly. That's interesting he says it's more strenuous because he says it's both four stars out of 60 in terms of difficulty level. So I don't know why you don't get one more star if it's more difficult. The effects of the sideways roll in the posture is that it massages the abdominal organs by pressing them against the floor. So for me, I don't really have um, a waist that goes in around the center. You know, like how it looks if you put on a corset like people with tiny waists, I don't really have that. So I do think that it'll probably kind of massage the side of my abdomen by rolling side to side. But if you have really wide hips or really large rib cage, you might not get your waist where your the soft part of your belly, the abdominal organs are. 
that might not really hit the side of the ground. So try it out and let me know what happens. And let's come over here to the mat and try out Dhanurasana and Parsva Dhanurasana. So you start laying down on your belly and my knees are a little wider than hips width distance. And I'm just gonna get kind of even here because I'm gonna wanna try to lift my hips off the ground and my uh, rib cage off the ground. So just kind of balancing here on my stomach. And then I'm gonna bend my legs. He didn't say to point or flex your feet, but his feet were pointed in the photo. So I suppose I'll try that version. I'm gonna reach back, grab my ankles, rolling my shoulders back. And so you're gonna lift your feet, you try to lift your hips and lift your chest and kind of look up or forward. For me, this is my capacity for today. I'm not bringing my legs together. <laughs> and he said, you can take a belly down Shavasana afterwards. Okay, so remember that I said that in power yoga, I learned a different variation. The variation that I learned was you keep your hips, your knees hips width distance apart. You flex your feet really hard. I'm gonna still reach back for my ankles but instead of lifting my feet and my hands up towards the sky, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach my feet backwards. And what that's supposed to do is to help press my thighs into the ground more. And I'm gonna come up more so on my hips and lift my chest and my belly off the ground. This one takes a lot of strength and I haven't really been doing it. So let's see how it turns out. <laughs> so same kind of way to go in, grabbing my ankles, getting centered here. I'm going to flex my feet and I'm just going to try to use the strength of my legs to lift my front body up off the ground. So I'm just going to press my feet back, kind of think of pressing my thighs into the ground. And that's the difference. So let's try rocking to the side. Back to his variation of the bow pose. Toes pointed. I'm gonna lift everything up and then see if I can roll to the right side. This is kind of nice, but my waist isn't on the ground. <laughs> All right, back up and to the other side. Just kind of lean your weight to the side. And the side's maybe a little bit closer to the ground, and then back up through center. That's what Dhanurasana and Parsva Dhanurasana look like in my body today. Try it out, see what it looks like in your body today. You know, don't push it, just do what you can do. It's a really difficult pose. I think it should be way more than four stars out of 60, but try it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll be back tomorrow.